They say that God won't give you more than you can handle and that one day it'll all make sense. Three years ago, my husband and I found out that our four-year-old son, Henry, had a malignant brain tumor. We got Henry's diagnosis in September and he was gone before Christmas. It was so sudden and so surreal. We felt as if one minute we were planning Henry's future and the next we were planning his funeral. Why does God allow such unspeakable pain? The Bible says that God is love. Wouldn't healing Henry have been the loving thing to do? Scripture also says that God is all powerful. Wasn't he able to heal Henry? Did God lack the power or the desire to spare my little boy? I'm far from alone in my suffering. Some of us are asking, did God lack the power or the desire to prevent my rape, my injury, my miscarriage, my cancer? And what about the pain caused by things like human trafficking and domestic abuse? What's God's role in the radical suffering that humanity faces? They say that everything happens for a reason and that sometimes we just can't see what God is doing when our eyes are blurry with tears. Phrases like these stem from an assumption that everything happens according to God's perfect plan, His meticulous divine blueprint. But I think we need to question that assumption. I don't know how we can really call God love if God is the one orchestrating our devastation. I think there's a better answer. I want to invite you to journey with me into the moments that shaped my faith and preceded my son's death. You will experience the world as I found it there. There were moments of fear and dread and heartbreak, but there were also moments when the light of God's love broke into my darkness, bringing peace and hope. And along the way, I encountered many explanations for God's role in our pain. Some said that it was sent to refine us, and others that it was really just a blessing in disguise. And some said it was simply a necessary part of God's plan to glorify Himself. But does God really need children to die to be glorified? Come, wrestle with me as my experience of suffering collides with the notion that everything happens according to God's perfect plan. Together, let's take another look at one of the most important questions in the world. I believe the answer points us to a God who is more stunningly beautiful, more pure, and more loving than most of us would ever dare to imagine.